regular time, 6.30 p.m. Central European time, a.k.a. 12.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, that's going to happen tomorrow as we jump right back into these games. Um, but for now, we have the Yacht Boys, which consists of Thisa, Gelubaba, and Miley Zora running Rogue Made Druid, Combat Rogue specifically, going up against Speechless. Uh, which they're playing Turbo Cleave, which consists of an Arms Warrior, an Enhancement Shaman on Jamie, and of course Looney on the Restoration. Dr it's Looney, right? Yes. Kiba's Looney. Yep. Is this the final series it's of the day? It is the final series of the day. Oh, this matchup's a good one, I think, to end it. This is the Me, matchup that kind of just constantly goes back and forth. Like, people like say, oh, RMD counters Turbo, and then suddenly it's like, no, Turbo counters RMD, and it's constantly back and forth. and. <laughs> It's really, uh, it, it can sometimes be a long match, but it, it's definitely pretty intense. I'm curious to see who ends up coming out ahead here. Uh, speechless, we, we saw them playing, I, I believe, uh, earlier with Fabio, uh, I believe. And now instead yeah. they're going to be using Lizzo, so they're going to be playing the Turbo. Let's see how well it works out for them here in round number one. The Yacht Boys are currently in stealth. Uh, crossing the map, looking for their setup target. We can see Looney is, is interesting with his position is that he moves very far away from his team. That way if somebody gets sapped, he doesn't immediately get pulled out. But Blizzo actually just recklessly leaped out and I think he found Thesha. So Blizzo's YOLO leap is, is going to find the Rogue and, and actually put the Yacht Boys behind. Yeah, that's quite a patented leap. Uh, playing against Blizzo, he does this all the time. He literally just leap randomly, then blade some a few seconds later. Like he, he knows these openers so well. If he, if he can stop them, he knows it's so good. So it's worth like gambling those cooldowns. We do see the C setup come out anyways from the Yacht Boys. They do get the full deep prop onto Looney with the cross sheeps onto Blizzo. They're setting up 3v1 into Jamie, but Jamie's not even having to use that Sham Rage right now. Is this a little greedy from him? He could just go down. I feel like he should maybe be using his down to what? 10 percent. He just dies. That's really curious. I don't know why uh, he didn't use the Shamage there. Maybe he was expecting a cooldown from one of his other teammates, but I think it was one of those situations where maybe Looney was expecting the Shamage, and then uh, maybe Jamie's expecting Ironbark from Looney. Like they were just expecting different things. A miscommunication cost them game one regardless. And uh, the Yacht Boys, despite that perhaps slightly uh, weird opener, get the kill incredibly quickly. <laughs> that was super quick indeed. Uh, but it's that sort of uh, that sort of win and that sort of momentum gain that uh, that teams really can utilize moving forward. So uh, hopefully uh, they don't take that loss too too to heart. You know they stay focused and uh, go into the next game here. Now uh, this is a best of five series as well in the upper bracket. The winner of this series moves on to face um, Kenichi Tigers in the semifinals tomorrow. And uh, this combat RMD, I, I actually think combat specifically has an advantage over turbo, uh, specifically. Um, and uh, the reason why I have that, because I always talk about those short defensive cooldowns in combat being able to, to get through them, or at least be able to pump out that damage more often. And uh, I, I'm interested to see a longer drawn out game from this turbo being able to survive with uh, defensive, using their defensive cooldowns and moving forward into the series. I mean, we've seen this turbo time and time again rotate through the defensive cooldowns extremely well. So, I mean, I'm anticipating a much different game number two. I, I wouldn't worry. Jamie's just saving Sham Rage for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I think um, the Yacht Boys might even be my favorite team to watch, to be honest, because they just... They're, they're so versatile, this team. They've been playing together a long, long time. Their synergy is very good. Thessio, of course, he can play combat, he can play sub. He's probably one of the best rogues at actually playing both the specs in Europe. He also plays that mage, of course. Gelubaba, their signature mage in the RMD. Miley, we've already seen. He's played the Priest earlier today. He can play the Paladin, he can play the Shadow Play, he can play this Resto Druid. They have Frothsy on the bench who we haven't even seen today, just to the. Uh, multitude of comps they have, and I think Frofsy as well as playing that Shadow Priest has even been training up his Elemental Shaman as well, so we could maybe see an Elemental Mage at some point from these guys as well later in the series of tournaments. They're just so versatile. I really like the way they use the four-player roster. I like the way they uh, adapt to these comps, and they seem to just have an answer for everything, and they were very close uh, to winning the last UCD. I think they came second, and maybe uh, if Obviously, does learn that elemental major. If they work out a strategy as RMD, they can just win this one. They're looking so, so strong. Uh, but they have to take down Speechless first, and I don't think Speechless are going to fall over twice in a row like that. Yeah, Speechless are the highest seeded team in the tournament, the highest rated overall. So, Yacht Boys would be making a statement by eliminating them here, leading 1 0. Jamie 
kind of underreacting or basically not reacting at all. That Rain of Frogs, surprisingly enough, didn't hit anyone. Let's see if Blizzo goes for the Yellow Leap. I'm really curious to see if he does. Seems like he's playing a patient. He's trying to mind game his opponents. But there's the sap onto Jamie. Surely the Blazer will come out. Nope. The cheap shot instead. Miley's trying to get in line of sight for the clone desperately, but he doesn't get there in time. And Blizzo will be able to blade storm. But now we, he didn't use Shamir's last time, but it's going to be overlapped with the Iron Bark this time. And because of that overlap in defensive cooldowns, it's an opening for the Op Boys later in the match. They're just going to be waiting for that Shamanistic Rage to be fading. Uh, maybe they used the blind here onto Looney as well, try and bait his trinket out. I think it would be a smart maneuver for them. Yeah, that's that's really um, good for the Yacht Boys. There's no real damage reduction clans onto Jamie. They could just go for the kill, to be honest, with this bomb. They're even getting him low going into the next uh, CC chain. I'd love to see it come out very soon. I'm sure Thessio's just stacking his buff. There is that blind. This is the killing spree, surely. There's the smoke bomb. We're going to see a lot of damage come out. The storm bolt defensively from Blizzo. No trinket for Thessio. Just before that cyclone, that was very important oh, no. from Blizzo. But he could just die anyways. Kibber's already used his trinket on the blind. Jamie's so, so low. He's popping that as soon as he's desperately trying to heal up. The DR sap, he's surely going to go down here. The rallying cry, he's on 20%. The Vigilance comes out so late. They have nothing left, but they might actually be able to survive here. Yeah, the Vigilance was quite late. The rallying cry is going to fall, but Looney connects a big heal. Saving the day. Uh, looks like they're actually going to keep going, though. A kidney shot now onto Looney, and the Op Boys are relentless with crowd control here. Can they follow it up? It doesn't look like they can just yet. Gallo Baba was trying to get a random cheat, but uh, Looney's not going to fall for those tricks. Now pulling out of line of sight, and surely Jamie's going to want to retreat. Uh, he's actually going to get cloned up. I'm curious if uh, the Op Boys are going to make a swap. Looney with no trinket could be pretty vulnerable. Uh, they're cloning up Jamie again, and, and maybe they're just going to set up out of that. We see a pre parry out from Blizzo on the bash. Great play, immuning that bash, but he's going to eat a polymorph regardless. Gello goes for the deep, he goes for the ring, but he gets interrupted, and Speechless really shut down the Op Boys very well in this go. Uh, we see a gouge instead, they don't follow it up though with the Ring of Frost, and Blizzo lands a double fear. Gello is completely isolated, uh, I think they're, they're changing their attention though on this Asia. He's going to trade out that Cloak of Shadows, he, he should be alright with no uh, Enhancement Shaman damage to support it. Uh, Miley uh, no longer CC'd, he's looking for some clones now onto Jamie. The Op Boys are trying to find their footing, looking for the next attack. They would have liked to get the Shamanistic Rage with that go, and because they didn't, it's, it's actually putting them quite behind. Uh, the, now Gelo at half HP, the Shamanistic Rage is going to trade out very well here with the Shadow Reflection, and they kind of have to rely on it being enough. Uh, with Shadow Reflection and Adrenaline Rush, the Rogue has a lot of damage, and maybe they can pierce through it, but they don't follow up the CC. Looney was able to blink away and avoid it, so now Jamie should be alright. They, they actually do follow up with the the random sheep. I'm curious if they can get another one. They get the, the other sheep. Can Miley get the clone? Doesn't look like he can. Blizzo's doing a good job pressuring Miley. But the killing spree comes out with no Sham Rage to deflect this damage. Surely Jamie is going to go down. Uh, any CC really onto Looney and they could end this. Doesn't look like they can get anything and, and Looney's going to NS him back to full. Now Gello in Execute Rage not blocking. Balls move from Gello almost dying and maybe potentially throwing the game. Uh, this, this has been... Uh... The Yop Boys look like they have a lot of pressure and they look like the game's going really well for them, but I think Blizzard's just been stopping so much of the, the uh, follow-up CC and he's been avoiding quite a lot of CC himself that he's been able to keep his team in it and now they've got to a point where they do have a few defensive coins. The Shamp Rage is available now. It looks like Jamie's going to be able to hold on to it. He does pop that Call of the Elements to make sure that he has that extra healing stream doing whatever he can just to make sure he can hold on to that cooldown. But it looks like Speechless have stabilized from their mistake at the start of the game and of course these things can snowball so, so easily. And I think I think that really is thanks to Blizzard. They now need to work hard on making sure they get this offensive pressure. Miley sitting through a bash right now on about 70%. Thessia also in a storm bar, dropping kind of low at about 50% HP. We are approaching dampening in about one minute's time. The mana on Miley is about 50%, so it should be okay. The DR cap onto Thessia, though, forces out the Iron Bark. He's down to about 50%. A decent amount of pressure coming out from Speechless as they do get that preemptive Iron Bark from Looney, aka Kiba, onto Jamie, just trying to s delay the Yacht Boys, knowing that they have a good amount of pressure right now. They're going to go offensive. Here comes the Kidney onto Blizzard. The Deep Priest onto Looney. They should be able to land the Rob, perhaps, but maybe it wasn't available. They get the Cyclone instead. Well done by Miley. But... It looks like Jamie's going to be able to hold his rage again. He's down to about 50%. A good fear from Blizzo again, stopping the follow-up CC. And actually setting up onto Miley of this the defensive smoke bomb, which is also being used offensively onto Jamie. He's down to about 40% HP. Again, he's just holding onto that sham rage. He's barely having to use it. Miley dropped a little bit low there. He had to back away. And this uh, RMD is really struggling to get the cooldowns, although they do get a nice swap onto Looney. That's going to force the Vigilance and the skin. They might even be able to go through it. He's down to 60%. This is a lot of damage from Thessio using the Killing Spree and the Adrenaline Rush. He's in a lot of trouble here, Looney. He's trying to kite away a nice blink. But he's getting followed. Both of the teammates, a nice storm on to Thessia. It's going to shut that down. He's trying to purge the hot Skelly Baba, doing as much as he can to chase Looney. But it looks like he's going to be able to stabilize for now.
Yeah, that was a close call, but I like that Blizzo knew that the Vigilance was needed. Usually you might think, like, oh, Bark Skin could be enough, but with the damage that Combat Rogues deal with their cooldowns, you usually need a little bit more. Uh, Jamie now getting set up on. We see a deep freeze over onto Looney. They follow it up with the Sheep. Jamie does have Shamanist of Rage, but it looks like he's going to trade out the Ascendant's extra healing boost uh, instead with his gift of the Narwin. It's an interesting trade. Let's see if he gets away with it. Full blind on Looney. He's, he does trade out the Trinket, and that was an effective use of cooldowns if they can survive. Shamanistic Rage will easily deflect the next attack. Uh, it seems like they're just kiting Thasia back behind the box. Maybe they want to stun him up, try and bait his trinket out. Doesn't look like they can. The Capacitor Totem, uh, Thasia's not falling for that bait on the Capacitor Totem. Miley's pulling back. I like this retreat from Miley. Sitting down for a drink. He knows that Speechless might be a little bit uh, unable to chase after him, but Blizzo does manage to get over and stop the drink. Good play from Blizzo. Now Storm bolting up, instantly going back onto Thasia into the bash, forcing his trinket on that stun right away. But here comes this, the attack from the Op Boys, forcing out that Shamanistic Rage immediately onto Jamie. Do they have enough damage? to penetrate is the question. Thasia's going to go for an offensive uh, vanish and sap off the Ring of Frost, which makes me think he's going to commit some damage here. They follow up with the clone, but Jamie's on the run. He's just sprinting around in circles. They do finally reconnect. Surely they can kill him here. Jamie with nothing really remaining. Looney finally leaving the crowd control, but a triple fear out from Blizzo, completely stalling out the Op Boy's damage and keeping Jamie alive. Yeah, once again, Blizzard, just the MVP there, is just shutting it down. Just when it was starting to look really scary for Jamie, is down to about 30% HP. The Sham Rage has already been used. Blizzard comes to his aid with that double or even triple fit, and they can also go offensive with it. It looks like they're trying to get a decent amount of pressure on Gelo. We can see uh, Miley's mana is still low, thanks to, again, Blizzard, who was the one who stopped it. And he pre-reflects the... Uh, the stun, so it looks like they're actually swapping to him with it, but that will have stopped some of the damage. He's down to about 50%, he's just going to be fine. The defensive stuns from Blizzard will keep him alive, and now he can look even more offensively. The CC on Looney has now expired. There's no really offensive pressure coming out from the Yop Boys right now. They're going offensive onto Gelu. There's the Iron Bar. Can they go through it? But Miley actually sat down for a drink there. That's very important for the Yop Boys. They needed that going into dampening. That's going to improve their lifespan significantly and mean they have a lot more chances of killing off Speechless. I think they're going to try set up onto Blizzard again. A nice Stormbar onto Thessio will delay them just slightly. Uh, there's the Bash onto him. It looks like they're actually going to swap it up over onto Jamie. He does have that Sham Rage available. He uses it instantly. The Cyclone onto Looney since the Rov was stopped. Well played by Miley being in position to do that. But he might get punished for it. I think he might have used his Blink to get there. He's just kiting away in bear form. They force the Sham Rage. They're happy. They also force the... Uh, out of the wild there from Looney and they're setting up into a nice position if they can just get Looney's trigger of the blind they could set up a kill potentially onto Speechless. Yep, Jamie is looking like a very juicy target for the Op Boys right now. Blizzo gets cloned up. I think the Op Boys are going to pull the trigger. Here it comes and will Looney respond in time? Uh, Blizzo gets the vigilance in between the clones. Uh, Miley kind of dropping the ball maybe there for a second and, and Jamie might be able to survive. Maybe the vigilance isn't even going to be enough with dampening being so high. It seems like the damage is is getting very crazy right now. Jamie's down to 20%, full blind on Looney, trinkets that right away, but even still, Iron Bark now used onto Jamie. I think he should be all right. Jamie actually gets locked on his heel, rallying cries now for us. Uh, bash onto Looney on the NS, he gets it off just in the nick of time. I don't think that Gela was able to spell steal it that quickly. Now Blizzo though with a reckless blade storm trying to counter pressure Miley at the same time. He trades out the Bark skin. He's still just taking so much damage. The dampening now starting to pay in favor of the turbo. They're building a lot of pressure, but here comes the killing spree out from Deja onto Jamie. Miley should be able to survive, and now Jamie's the one in trouble. We see Blizzo with a preemptive die by the sword. He's trying to avoid any potential stuns. He's trying to keep Jamie alive. The Shamanistic Rage should be enough with that gift of the Naru heal for Jamie to survive. And as soon as he survives, they need to turn this aggression around. Gallo down to 20%. He's retreating away. He knows that he can't walk into that meat grinder for any longer. Yeah, I love the way the Yacht Boys just committed everything there, but the fact they didn't get the kill almost cost Miley his life. So uh, these teams do like to go all in. They really like to try get these kills, but uh, they have to be super careful. This matchup can definitely go either way. Both teams are just so punishing if you do make that mistake of overextending. Uh, Miley now caught into the Stormbolt. Gelu dropping kind of low, but he still has both those blocks available. I can't believe he's been able to hold on to them. He's been low so many times, but he does still have both. That means they should be okay. Thessia doesn't have Trinket, though. Miley doesn't have Trinket. They could easily set up a stun onto Thessio or Miley and maybe go for the kill. A nice preemptive iron back on the deep freeze from Looney. Will save Jamie for now. He didn't have Shamridge available for five seconds. That's going to bail them out of this setup. I think they could have potentially lost the game there. So that's very important. They also forced Gelo into the block. The NS onto Thessio might be enough to save him, but Miley's struggling. Dampling is at 30%. Lots of healing, reduction, and we do see the fear. Unfortunately, I think that broke onto Miley. That could have potentially been the kill onto Gelu, so a small mistake there from Speechless, but he's still dropping low. The Iron Bark 
He's at about 50%, but Miley's mana is dropping low, and he's just struggling so hard to keep his team alive. But we've seen this before. The RMP can definitely turn this around. They just need to get the right setup. There's no trinket on Jamie or Blizzo. They're swapping it over to Blizzo. He's down to 70%. Those heals aren't going to do much at all in dampening. The DR stun comes out. He's down to 40%, 30%. He could just go down here. Is the rallying cry available? It doesn't look like he's down to 10% of the parry, but the oh. killing spree's going through it. He could just die. It looks like he's just about going to be able to survive. The blind comes out trinket surely from Looney. It means that he might be able to stay but I'd be so low if the next kidney comes out soon he could just die the kid the kidney actually comes out onto Looney the spell reflect he's using whatever he can to survive the iron bark surely not going to be enough he's down to 10% the DR sheep Looney looks like he might just be able to keep him alive and now the York boys are in so much trouble as well if you could see my face right now you would be startled uh, <laughs> Blizzo is somehow still alive right now I don't know how he's doing it the full kidney shot follows it up Looney's caught into a one second gouge and somehow he's still alive the full clone follows up surely Blizzo is going to fall and he does yeah, Gello actually had to block in the meantime uh, to deal with Jamie's damage, but uh, I think Jamie might play this out. No, nope, choosing to leave now. And the Alt Boys take a 2-0 lead, and they're one win away from advancing and putting Speechless down into the loser side of the tournament. Wow. This is crazy. This is the, the number one seeded Turbo in the, in the tournament. They, are the, they were the highest CR in uh, tournament number one. I'm not sure if they maintained it, but they were really high rated. And this is a, a hell of a series so far. I feel like the 2-0 doesn't really necessarily reflect exactly uh, exactly the gameplay exactly because Miley there was really really close. That was that was pretty crazy. I feel like if they weren't making Glizzo so defensive, Miley surely would have went down. Uh, but there you have it. We're currently two games in to this best of five series, and the Op Boys are doing a fantastic job on this combat RMD uh, to take uh, down this Turbo so far. Um, but uh, we're going to be moving into game number three. It's the Turbo's map choice once again. Dollar Rain Sewers has been uh, has been played as well as Negrand Arena. And uh, the Turbo, they're on their back foot, man. They have to they have to make something happen here going uh, forward. Three games in a row they're going to have to win if they want to move forward to the semifinals. I mean, I've already complimented the Yacht Boys on their versatility. I, I, I said I like that about them. That's one of my, the reasons that I particularly like to watch them. But one other thing you have to note about these guys is they've been playing together a long time. They're a very consistent team as well. Uh, Frofsy, of course, was at the last regionals. The other guys, I think, uh, were very, very close to reaching the regionals and uh, unfortunately didn't quite make it. But um, they're, they're a team that have been playing a lot. They're very progressive. They've been... Uh, all over the EU scene, and I think all four of them are like dominating the ladder right now. They're not too far behind Speechless on ladder rating for sure, and you can see why in these games. Uh, they've just, they're so consistent. They last tournament they came second, I think, and they were starting to figure out the LE Mage comp. I would love to see them go up against the LE Mage again this tournament if that is, uh, would be possible at some point. Uh, but if they also win this, they're going to have to go up against um, No Life as RMD and yet another RMD mirror, potentially, unless they choose to run one of their other comps. I would love to see who would come out on top in that RMD mirror. Uh, and it's looking like they're going to get their chance at Kenitra Tigers. They're 2-0 up. Of course, the winner of this does go on to face them in the semifinals of the entire tournament. The Yacht Boys just looking so, so strong after that last game. And uh, what do Speechless do to actually kill this team? It looks pretty hard. Uh, they're struggling through, but Runes of Lordran is a good pick for the turbo. Uh, let's see what they can get done. It seems like maybe they're chasing Miley too much. Maybe they're they're just not paying enough attention to Baba. Like if, if Baba didn't have a block at the end of the game, maybe they could have got a cross kill. Uh, it seems like maybe they should be forcing or attacking the mage more. Um, they're trying to chase down Miley, and, and Miley knows that and he escapes very well. So let's see if the if Speechless can surprise the Op Boys. This is their last chance. Uh, sap on Jamie Blizzo is gonna blade storm. He's trying to find the stealth targets, but he does. He actually finds Miley and he throws out a cheeky storm bolt. Looks like they may want to attack him, but they're gonna get rooted up. Uh, Blizzo into the cheap shot. Miley's gonna be looking to try and get the clone, but he was able to charge on the cheap shot and got out of range of Miley. He's looking to try and reflect the cyclone, but Miley doesn't fall for it. He soothes it off, gets the clone. Looney caught into a polymorph. Jamie's forced to shamers. They instantly rotate the polymorph over onto Blizzo. A great setup from the Oppos. They can easily just kill through everything at this point. Jamie's surely gonna die 5% HP remaining Looney gets blinded on the NS caught into the full bash and Jamie still really doesn't have very much to survive and Jamie's going to fall and the op boys set that up perfectly rotating the CC immediately and just annihilating speechless yeah they just committed everything there they just put every single DR of CC onto Looney I think it was even a triple DR blind just to stop him getting that NS they knew they could win the game there and uh, that ties up a pretty convincing 3-0 victory uh, this 
the second game was quite good, but um, they looked really, really strong in that last game. They got to be feeling good about that one, man. They're, they're going to take a, a 3 0 victory against. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the bracket right now. I'm updating it. Uh, the Yacht Boys are going to take a 3 0 victory against Speechless and move forward to face Kenitra Tigers. And I am so excited about that. That's all going to be happening tomorrow. Kenitra Tigers going up against the Yacht Boys in the semifinals of tournament number two that's all going to be happening tomorrow guys but that is going to be it for us today thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us